sure we're all on the same page. Okay. Um, by now you know that Palaid was the one who came up with the idea about ribosomes and won the Nobel Prize for it. And then Roberts was the one who actually came up with the word ribosome. It says on here the notion he got was because he knew it was made of ribonucleic acid and soma. Uh, you might find um, but I talk to you on this. I taught A and P. The central part of the nerve cell is called the body. It's also called the soma because because soma means body. So. When he put ribonucleic acid and soma together, he got ribosome. That's how it came to be. I know Melissa talked about the lady named Peterman. And she had been working with these things before these guys, but she didn't publish anything I found out. Everything was just all kind of her little hobby. Like me and my little microscope. If I don't tell the world that I don't get, I don't get claimed for anything I found, maybe a year before the person found it himself did. So apparently Peterman, the lady, she just she never did publish, and so therefore she, she can't receive credit. So right now, Roberts gets credit for, for the word Robinson. Now, and now about the relationship. By now, most of y'all know how the right how the DNA is gives us message to the messenger RNA, and that goes out to Robinson. But here's the point: DNA is too big to leave the nucleus. It cannot get through the hole in the nuclear membrane, so, it's, so it is imprisoned in the nucleus. But the instructions for the kind of protein to make is on the DNA. The problem is, how do instructions get out to the ribosomes? The answer is the RNA. The messenger is skinny enough to slip through the pore and go out there and find the ribosome. The messenger got the code from the DNA. So DNA is still the box. But without the messenger, the boss couldn't talk to the factory. Okay. <clears throat> um, there are three kinds of RNA. I think you probably know this by now. Let's go ahead and again. One kind, and I don't think anyone's more important than the other one. We just only kind of list them in order they come together. Messenger is the one that will will get a copy of the code from DNA, leave the nucleus and take that code to the ribosome. The ribosome is going to build the protein, but it needs the code for the order of the amino acids. Okay. Now, when it does find the ribosome, the ribosome is in two pieces, a, a, a big piece and a little piece. He gets right inside here and the ribosome clicks together on top of it. And it starts moving along the messenger, reading it, bringing in amino acids, hooking them together, spitting out the whole transfer. This is um, a picture, this is one of the better ones I've seen, of a total ribosome with the large upper and the small lower. Okay? And the messenger slides right through here. And then the new protein is going to be shoved out this way. So as this thing goes across, the protein comes out and gets longer and longer and longer. On the other side of this thing is where the, the, the amino acids arrive, and on this side is where the, the transfer RNAs leave after they've lost their acid to the one they're building. Uh, the second kind is, don't go in, is that transfer, the second kind is the transfer. His only job is to carry the amino acid that's called for by the messenger RNA to the ribosome, and the ribosome can work it up and make it into a, into a protein being built. Um, if the messenger, as you know, says A, 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 then the code that's going to match to it will be U, U, U. Because the, the DNA says T, T, T. How it works is this. DNA says T, T, T. And you flip that messenger's A, A, A. 
Because the rhymes, and you flip it again, it doesn't go back to T, T, T. It goes back to U, U, U. But T's and U's are basically identical twins. They, they work together perfectly. So if something says T, 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 and that says U, 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 it's the same thing. No problem there at all. Um, the transfer doesn't do any bonding. It just carries the acid to the ribosome. It's just, it's just a dump truck. carries the acid to the ribosome. The ribosome produces the peptide bonds. This is a picture I got off the internet. When I first saw it, I went, what a mess. But then I started looking more and I said, this is perfect. Because this is the shape, all twisted up, a transfer. And at the bottom of it, there's your anticodone for this codon. I see right here, I can see C-A-G. And that had better be G-U-C, and it is. So this is not a plug-in right there. This is the... Um, Usually it's like a, like a marble, but this doesn't show you the actual structure. This is the acid. So far, this protein is one, it's three acids long. Now, when it lands here, this is the A site, that's the acetylallene, that's, that's the amino acid site, that's the entry point. So he'll land there, shove him, he'll kick him out of the way, he'll leave empty, now, there's an open bond here, and hydrogen is used to kind of fill the bond. Just for the sake of having something there. Um, this acid is no longer attached to this. It's attached to this. And these three make up a three-acid protein that's being built. When he lands, he'll shove in right there. And then this one will be joined to that one. And he will be empty, and he'll fall right here, and he'll leave. And they keep coming in, and they're going this way because the, the, the point comes in first. So you have a three to five direction here. This is a five to three direction. And this thing is moving this way. And the protein is being formed because when he lands, all three of these will be transferred to him. And new one lands, all four be transferred to the fifth one. And they all kind of they just pass right over, as you saw in the video. Um, but there's the A, the P, the E, and it's always going toward the A, because the A receives, this is your exit site. Um, the A stands for the acetyl amino transfer. But I just think of acid. It's the amino acid coming in, really. That's the best thing for it. And the peptide. This is where the peptide is being formed. So this site is empty right now, waiting him to arrive. This is the peptide site. And this is the site that's going to leave. This, he's in no site. He's gone. He's gone. All right? Codone, 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 codone. And these are the anticodones that, I mean, if I see A, 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 down we see U, 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 that's, that's what the DNA called for. Here I see U G, uh, U C G looks like, and I'd be looking at A G C, the anti. Now you flipping it back over, are you? Flipping it back. But this one is exactly what the DNA was. God, this is your go between. So you flip it, flip it back. Okay. Now I want you to copy this slide and fill in what you think the answers are, and we're going to find. This, this is a strand of DNA. I want you to transcribe, transcribe these nine bases onto what's going to be the messenger. And I'll uncover it in a minute, and you can see if you did it right. So this is your first flip. These are still, they're single strands. The, you know, the DNA is a strand of three codons. Well, the messenger is going to be a strand of three codons too. But they're going to be flipped codons. They're going to be the opposites. <clears throat> and then those, those three messengers, they actually turn into three separate transfers. And that's why I have the three separate 
boxes for the transfer. I don't want to show you too soon, though, but throw a few nests of fun up to try and do it yourself. Let's remember, no U, I mean no T's. Always write a U, and you want to write a T. That's one thing you got to watch out for. If you see a T, don't write a U for it, because that'd be like saying A to A. Okay, can I cover them yet? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Let's look at the first one. Um, a, T, G should be what? U, U, A, C. Perfect. Next one should be what? U, G, C. Not U. A, U, G, C. A, G, C. A, G, C. You did the same thing. You're so busy trying to keep the T's and U's straight, you start to associate them. Don't do that because T and a U is like saying G and G. Okay? So there's your, there's those three. What would the last one look like? C U G. You did it again. C A G. C -A -G. What's wrong? Yeah, you you're still going T to a U because you're so busy trying to keep them straight that you're flipping them backwards. If you see a T, his partner is an A. If you see an A, his partner is a U. If you're building R and A, keep that straight. Because you would have missed two of those three right there. Now, I tell you right now. These are those. Just that. That becomes a what right here? You. Now look carefully. That's the same except for the T's are gone. I don't need to read this, do I? If I know this, I know him. I just know that I keep a T there. Now you can read this thing and the A would call for a what? Mm -hmm. No, A calls for a what? Well, you're right, a U, my bad, a U. And a, a G calls for a C. And a C calls for You just can't use that T again, but there's your code. All you've done is replace the T's with U's from the DNA to transfer. A transfer is actually what DNA said. It ain't the opposite. And if you look at these over here, these should be the same thing, except for that T would be really... You. So when you look at this transfer, is just what the DNA wanted. This transfer is just what the DNA wanted. And remember, T's and U's are equal. And this transfer is just what DNA called for. These are opposites, of course. That's how it works. So if I say white, you say black, you come back with white, which is what I said in the first place. It's like the you know, computers are binary code, zeros and ones. I reckon the body knew how to do it first. So, if you had, if you had these DNAs, well, now this is the, um, this is not DNA, is it? How do I know it's not DNA? There's a U. Because I use. There's your messenger. And this amino acid corresponds to this signal, this one, this signal, and this one, this signal. So these three acids are building a protein. Now, I think my slide is wrong. Because if, if this is a messenger, what should that be? The same thing or the flip? Flip. I don't think the same thing. If I want to, if I want to fix that, if I want to change it, I don't want to change it here. The whole thing's a picture. I can't change it that fast. I got I to go back and... You see my problem? I just read on my slide. Mm -hmm. If this is messenger, they can't do the same thing too, can they? I might be saying, I might be saying transfer, transfer, transfer. And these three transfers build these three. I, I'm hoping I'm doing, I'm saying that. That right there does it. I know I do. I'll do this. That'll work. Now I'm saying these are transfers. 
That's why these are the same. And this codone calls for the green marble. And this codone for the purple marble. And this codone for the yellow flat. Oh, it is. But these three then are, are hooked together with peptide bonds, hydrogen bonds. And these three are the start of the DNA. It'll work now with that being done. So when I took out the DNA and the R in the messenger, now this thing, I, I, now I gotta fix this. But I just changed the PowerPoint. Okay, so make a note to yourself. Alrighty, so now we see how these three transfers, and they're separate entities. They're not, they're, 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 they're not a strand. Each one's separate, and they're bringing their own amino acid. The third kind of RNA, that we just mentioned the messenger kind, we mentioned the transfer kind, there's one more kind that's called ribosome. That's the kind that actually makes the ribosome. That's what's in the ribosome. It's, it's pretty structural. Messenger be functional. Transfer be functional. It bad boy is not. That's the structure here. He's building something. He's not talking. And the problem is, a ribosome hooked together is too big to leave the nucleus. They're made by the, by the <coughs> nucleolus. Remember that? They're made by the nucleolus. But if the nucleolus actually hooked them together, they couldn't get out of the nucleus because they can't get to the hole. If you leave them separate, the small unit will go out the hole, the big one will go out the hole, and then out of cytoplasm, they snap together. And that's how it works. So they're made separately by the nucleolus, and one goes out of the nucleus, another goes out, and they join and click. And that's where they assemble themselves outside. It's like some piece of furniture, you have to disassemble it, take it to your house. And your house, you put that together again. Well, that's how this thing is working the same way. So um, this would be the small, the small subunit is always on the bottom, and the large R is on the top. And this just shows you one more time, these are separate transfers coming in. And they're showing you the code, you know, AAA would call for UUU, and UAU, no, I'm sorry, GAU would call for CUA. And so this is, um, UUC, AAG is about to join. And when it gets here, these five will be handed off to him. And then this will be empty, he'll leave. He's gonna go, he's gonna go back out in the cytoplasm and find another one, hook on and bring it back for the next time he needs it. He's not empty for long. He goes out, and the food you eat is how you get these acids yourself that the transfer needs. But the thing about it is, they, get, they keep getting passed over to the next one coming in. So this is your A site, this is your P site, and your E site exit. Here's another look from another source. Um, shows you one, two, three, four, five already hooked together. A sixth one coming in, and there's the five Butting in, remember the five has a point on it, remember the point? And you always stick the one you're coming into. So this works fine. And this bad boy is leaving empty, of course, because, let's see, this one is his. Because this one is his, and this one is his. And now this bond is broken. So he is now free to leave and go back out and find another acid. Okay. Another look. Um, is this thing arranged up and down or side to side? Up and down. Up and down. A lot of folks see this and they think here's one side and there's one side. No, this is the small unit here and the big one there. And there's your, there's your, your messenger laying in here being red. And these are the transfer RNAs that get different colors just for that second teaching. And this is the this is the um, the protein being built and just slowly coming out of the top of the ribosome. And the terminus, there's going to be a stop code, which which doesn't match anything, and that's how the ribosome knows to unhook and let everything go. Now this messenger out here, 
He can be used again. He'll hook onto a new rap song and make the protein again. So, you know, when we did the experiment with acetabulum and they removed the nucleus part of it to see if that was where the problem was, the rapid, well, because this thing was still out there in the nucleus, I mean, in the cytoplasm, you remove the nucleus, protein production kept on going because the messenger's out there still doing his thing. Even though, even the guy who made it is gone. So it took a long time and they realized that it ain't a nucleus making them, those proteins. And then the Palade came along and showed it was the things called ribosomes. And, but it wasn't just two guys. Many people came up with that. Apparently Palade was the one who did the most of the work. Okay. Um, this is one of the best tables I've ever seen that identifies the acids. And um, the way it simply works is this. Is pretend the code you want is CCC. Okay, CCC. First letter, C. Second letter, C. Now, in this box, right here, with the C's coming together, in this box, you'll find these three prolines. C, C, and in this box right here, there's C. So C, C, C is your proline. Let's say you're U, U, U. Find the U here, okay? And this box right here is the one that belongs to U, U. If I say U, 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 well, there's your third U, and that's phenylalanine. That makes sense? So what's the second? This letter is the second letter. See right there, second letter? Let's, let's, let's try. Let's try. Um, the first letter is this one. So then you, the next letter is this one. And now when these two come together, you get a, you get a block of four. And the third letter is which one of these it falls on. For example, um, look at lysine right here. Look at lysine. What three letters would, would code for lysine? A. The A. Three A's. Now the A, that's a lysine. A is a lysine. And this lysine, the third letter, would be the A again. A, A, A. But if it was AAC, it would be. If it was AAC, let's see. There's the A there, and there's the A. So here's the here's the here's the AA square, right? And you said what AAC? Yeah. It'd be aspirin. Okay. Because okay. there's C right there. If you have the PowerPoint, you have this. I didn't have that when I put it in my sheet. Because that was on the PowerPoint, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I was not. A couple of them. Is, is that the PowerPoint you have right there in front of you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need I need to update this PowerPoint. I, I, I had not changed it, but I, I thought I gave you that. But I'll, I'll put that on. So you I didn't go it. back in after you. If you did change it when you initially put it up, that's when I printed it off. Okay. I know. I've got some slides on here I changed today. I know you. The, the start coding, the start one. What three letters would be methionine? What three letters would be methionine? A G. The A, A would be the first one. U. And then the U. Yes. And go right back to what? G. The G. A U G. Okay. Nothing else will do it. This last glycine right here. The, now there are four glycine, but the last one, what code would code for him? The last one. G. 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 There's your G. There's your G. G, G, G. It's easier to, to ask you what code's for than the other way around. If I, if I said to you, CCU, what am I coding for? CCU. You find this C. You find this C. And there's your block you're looking in. And I, what I say last letter was? U. A U. CC. Well, first off, they're all the same. I just stop looking right there, can I? No matter what the third one is, because they're all the same one. Now here's um, there's there's in this square right here. 
I need to go back and make colors so I can show the different squares. You know what I'm talking about? Because they run together in, in my eye. Um, there's tryptophan. If you look carefully, I got two codes for a phenylalanine. I got six for this sucker. That must be important. I got three for this one. I got four for that one. I got four for that one. I got four for that one. Four for that one. Four for that one. Two for this one. Which I got three stop signals. Is it isolucine or lucine? Huh? Which one is the one that is substituted for sickle cell? Is it isolucine? Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. But a little research, you find out real fast which one it was. Because it is a protein problem. Mm -hmm. And that links back to a codon problem. And you can find that yourself, won't you? Uh, the tryptophan, this one, had one, only had one code for, but so did that one. So I wonder what in the world is this one if you only had one code. What is his code for tryptophan? G, U, G. The U. G, G. Oh, G. Yeah. And the other G. G. Either he's not very important, uh, they didn't want to, or the body said, I don't want to make a mistake on this one. I want to say one at a time. Serene has two. Most of the acids, they have more than one code. So if if something happens and the code shifts, maybe we're still covered. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice, really. Because if something happens and, and you, I mean, C, C, C became C, C, G, well, I'm still good to go. <laughs> you follow me? I mean, that that's just a fail safe and like I said I, I have found I found all kinds of these little tables but this was the one that I thought was the best as far as me reading it and the three stop codons the three stop codons are, well two of them start with you obviously so this one would be you a a, a, a. a. And this one would be U A G, and this one here by itself, that's going to be U G A. Does that work? At first, it's confusing, but the more you do, you go, it's not bad at all. And whoever thought this was smarter than I was, now I just figured how to read it. He, he invented it, so I say he might be a sheep. I don't know. So there's your um, and I, I'll go back and read and re put this on Angel because you want this problem. If I give you a test, I'll give you this. I won't make you, I don't know about heart. That's what we got the chart for. Homework coming up. And I've done, I've already exposed you to the answer, so. One and two should be right there easy to get. Since we're not showing up for class tomorrow, you want us to email it, it to you? It would be not right until next time I see you. Okay. <laughs> I keep thinking tomorrow, I forget. But if you want to email me, you can't get it right faster. Okay. And also, if you see folks who email me, I'll often say that the problem here, fix it and send it back to me. That's an advantage of emailing because you get a second chance. You put it on paper, you're done. So sometimes the folks who email me, and I see that the problem, you can easily fix it, I'll say. You know, you know, lab. Last time we did the testing for sugars and things like that. Well, the class I'm having now, those two classes, I tell them always to sort those things by substance. This time they sort them by people. Mm -hmm. so you email me, I say, do it by substance. Send it back to me. Yeah, leave it propped up like that. And so, 
Those who email me have that advantage. If you, before I give you a, a 90%, I can say, fix this. And it says, time ain't up. Send it back to me again. So that's always the advantage. And something like this, I wouldn't have captured. I just write on my email itself. Just one, two, three. It's just, it's just, it's just going to be word, code, word. And I... When I found out what that thing does, I looked up and boy said, that, that sucker is terrible. If you don't have it, ooh, man, that's bad. Uh, so okay. Right. It's terrible? I mean, I know, isn't that the one that's in Turkey and they say that's why you get sleepy after eating? There's, there's more in chicken. Oh, really? Yeah. I looked at that also. I looked at where you find it up. Uh -huh. Chicken has the very most of it at all. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, you can always do a little more research on your side, but yeah. I didn't want my slides full. I didn't want to have more questions. I like three questions. That, that's enough to, to not blow you down. All right. Yeah, go and get your snap picture of it real fast. Do it's due tomorrow, but we're not meeting tomorrow. So it's due next time I see you or email. And I'm going to take a picture of this also. <coughs> I'm going to put it on. I'm, I'm going to put it on Angel. But you want to take a picture of it as soon as you put it on. Can you? I, I ain't put it on real fast. Can you full screen it for a second? Uh yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, it'll be on there, but now you got your own picture. And you can go online and search for a new acid table. You might find you one you like better. Then I'm going to lie to you. This to me was, once I realized where to find the letters, it was pretty simple. But there are all kinds of these charts. And green is to me not harsh on my eyes. I kind of like the green color. Yeah. Red be kind of rough on you. And, and these, these uh, red squares, I put on them myself. Actually, when I first saw it, oh, not that one. When I first got it down, it looked like that. That's when I first saw it. And I said, well, let me indicate some important codons. So I, so I circled the start codon, and then I circled the three stop codons. And that's why my red and nines were. But that's how I found it on the internet right there. So let me go back down. And put this back on. Okay, that's me adding those. Right. Okay. <coughs> All right. So we got that said, and that that's for my additional. This always starts the uh, protein, and depending on the second one behind it is where they stay as your leaves. Mm -hmm. And these three are the combinations that stop the, the process and the protein finished. Okay. Now, now, there is your homework you just saw. That, that, that's full screen right there. The rest of these slides, I have modified them. I, mean, I sit there and I said, I can, I can make it better. And so I try to make it better. So. From this point on, and I even said, you might find that what you have in front of you and what I have on the screen no longer exactly match because I have done some improvements, I think, to the PowerPoint. I'm always changing my point, I always improving, trying to make them better. So that's just one now. Um, so I'm asking you a question now, and I'll go back in a few minutes. I want to know, no, this ain't homework. I'm just asking you a question to see if you remember what I told you. This is not homework at all. But these questions might become PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking you, what three base code on? Now, let me go back and let you see it. Okay. Now, I've circled it this time. It won't be circled next time. So what... Now, there's methionine. Now, I'm going to start. <coughs> What's his code? A, A, G. A, first letter. U, second letter. 
G third letter. Okay. G. So the code for him, this is the first letter I read of the three. Second letter I read of the three. Third letter I read. I'm gonna go back and do some that's how I forgot about that doing. I'm gonna <coughs> I want this to, oh, not that way. I want this one to, to circle me on four at one time. So people see how they come in fours. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I want you to know that this four is a subset. U and U gives me this. Four. And the third letter actually identifies which one I'm talking about. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so you and you it identifies this square, and the third letter identifies which one I'm talking about in that square. Yes. That's how that works. So I want to do that. I think I want to change this color. Uh, what color I want to give that one? I'll give it this color here. No, it's too light. In. Can you see that? Yeah. Is it too light? I can see it. Let me make it a little darker. Is that just usual? Probably a good color. Purple. I like Remember bright that? colors. Purple. Right there. <laughs> I like bright colors. Okay. You see that? Right. I'm just going to tell you that, that the purple, and I can put it anywhere I want to, right? Mm -hmm. But now it comes in fours. Yes, I think I might even do that. Let's put one. Now, is that. Are those four the ones I want? No. What's wrong? I'm covering, I'm covering, so let's take it on down. Are these four the one I want? Yes. Does that look like a, like a wide blue line, a uh, white line to y'all? See, the, the lines themselves are throwing me off, but, but it looks like these four. Okay, these four, first two letters would be A and A. And then this is AAU, AAC, AAA, AAG. -A 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 All right? So I'm gonna leave it like that and save it. So um, this will be on my next PowerPoint when I store it next time. I'll oh, I see what you mean by that thick white line. You see the how white it's line thick, right yeah. I'm thinking that's the divider line. It's right smack down in the middle of it. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna go back myself and put my own artificial lines on it. Because this here throws me. I want to say these by that. That's only three right there. And I realize that that's just a quark. And I don't yeah. like that. So I'm going to go back and put on my own lines. You're going to make your own lines? I'm going to bracket my own sets of four. Yeah, I see to it. To make it more doable. Okay, I won't do it now though, but you know what I'm going to try to do later on. But this four is U, U. And then U, 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 C. That's how it's going to work. Very good. All right, now let me go back where I was. Now, we have done this, and, and I think we, you already got, you already got this, I think. I this. do? I thought you took picture of this. Um, no, I got 21 and 22. I didn't get 23 and 24. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a note to me. Okay. Now, I mean, the table. Is on. So I gotta go back every time. So when you see this, I know that the table's right there. I don't have my. When I get done, I wanna have this light being red and that being red so that these lines don't any you know, longer throw us off. But right now, the line. The white stripes to me are confusing my eyes. I want to say this is a start. He is a start of this one, but that's not the end of it. So 
I want to fix those lines. All right, so um, just watch the one. Hmm, I don't feel like it. I want the, the base. I should be saying three base, not base three. Three base. A U G. That's how I should read. Mm -hmm. All right. Watch the one. Three base code of, I don't need three base, do I? No, just But you know the three base. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna remind you that yeah. the three bases each. Yeah. All right, watch the one codon that will start the building process. Now there's as you know, a he's U the one that starts it. And you would say A U G U G. That's the only one that starts. And then I ask, watch the name of the acid it codes for, and then you would say methionine. methionine. All right. mm -hmm. And now my, my next slide, what three codons stop? And I want the letters now. So I want the letters, so I'll go back here now. There are my stop codons. So let's look at him. That's going to be U, A, a. And this one here is going to be U, A, G, G. And the oddball over here is going to be U, G, A. Hey, you're pretty Jordy. Ain't no Alabama, is there? <laughs> All right. What is the one amino acid? Who has more codes for it than any other acid? Thank you. It's got more codes for it than any other acid. It's coded for a lot of times. Which one is it? No. There's one that got more than four. That's got four. There's one that got more than four. Who's got more than four? Lucene. Lucene has six codes. And so does Argan. That's four. That's four. Oh, look here. You shot, I didn't realize that. I didn't, you're exactly right. That's sweet. That's because I didn't have chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you had chicken today? I didn't have chicken today. <laughs> okay, she's exactly right. I saw these six together and I mm -hmm. thought those come naturally. I saw this, I never saw those two. I gotta change that question. <laughs> That's how I want to read. And I don't mind giving them six times. They're going to find leucine real fast. They're going to find the cranes for a little while. And they're going to be looking at, at groups of four and go, where's the other one? Because I didn't catch it, and you did. That's great, Katrina. So they're going to see this right away. And then they're going, there's the more has six in a row. That's right. Four and two. Very good, very good, very good. Any more like that? Not before I make a fool of myself? <laughs> Right there, right there's four. <laughs> there are just two there. I just seen four. I just seen four. Serine uh, is in C and in G. Worse. In second letter G uh, and second letter C column. One, two, three. Oh, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, change the question. There's another one. You gotta go change it again. <laughs> what three? <laughs> what three? Any more? I see 
serine, I see. Leucine. That's going to be three. I don't see anything as. It only has seven, doesn't it? Now I wonder what those are doing if they could have worked. They must be pretty important. I don't know what she is. But, but you know, the serine is so far apart. They will never see serine. They'll find, they'll find arginine. And then they'll be going, where's the other one at? I just see three now. Y'all seen one three? Would you cut it for six times? I got two coated for once. The majority of coated for how many times? One, four, four, two. Three of them. There's 20 acids. There are 20 acids in all. There's 20 right there. But obviously, there's a lot of repeat going on. That's just the non American fail state. All right, so very good. That would be staring to the eyes crossed. <laughs> Three acids, which are coded for four times of thin. Leave it like that. All right. So but now we, and even that, I would not ask you a test question where you had to come off your head. You can have a chart in front of you. You read the chart, you find. Now on a test, I might say. You know, I might say, give me their codons. Name. Yeah, I don't want to do it now. It would take forever to do the codons for all those. But you know what you got to do, though. Just, just get them done. All right? Now, this is why I, I picked up leucine. And I did look at leucine to figure out what in the world. Why would he be coded for so many times? What's he doing that requires so many codes? And now, this is information I'm. It is the only acid of all 20 that stimulates protein production by your muscles, makes your muscles strong. That's the one that makes steroids. And you know how powerful steroids are. That's the only acid of all those involved in making. No wonder it's coded for six times. But now I wonder about it. hers and hers. What they're doing that they could have for so many times. More work for you. I've got to add to my firework. Because it must be something, because obviously this is big time important. Muscles are important. And now we know that I, we can go to, to, to a pharmacy and get these things in a pill. And as you get older and you get frail and you might, your muscles are hold you up, we can now give you this. And maybe make the old person's muscles stronger so they don't fall and break a hip. Now, if you're in a tub and you slip, you're going down. <laughs> but you step off a curb and just can't hold yourself up because your muscles, it might help that. It won't hurt you any. Now, how about the, how about the 20, how about the 18 year old boy in high school or college who wants to beef up their muscles? That'll do it too. That might be the way to go without using steroids. Because that will actually produce the steroids. And I wonder now when the people in the sports are being tested for steroids, they might be using leucine, which is not traceable. That's why they're all pumped up. Because they got the acid working to build the steroids. But now what would be faster? Take the acid or take the steroids? Steroids. Obviously. You know, I ain't gotta make it then, I just take it. But that might be um that is traceable. Right. I'm going to probably put a 26 on here when I figure out what yours are doing and what yours are doing. Because um, now, see, I'm just curious. I put six codons. Well, now I'm wondering what those other two are doing that requires six. It, it might be something monumental like this is. I mean, this this right here, is big time. The body be sure is covered. There's six ways to get it. So, okay. Uh, copy those down. And I'll go back and show you my chart. Just get a copy of this just, just, just for practice. And I'll go back and show you my chart. And then you fill in the, the answers and I think it's to be over. Okay.
And there's six codons on there. I don't want to click it again because it shows the answers. That's spoiling the fun. I will go back though and let you see that table. Are you all ready to go back and look? Or are you still copying these six? Let's go back and look at that table and let y'all use your pen and see where they're going. There's the table. Be better now, wouldn't it? For sure, you could, you could key in on two letters right away. But I'm gonna put the squares on the night. Oh, by the way, the first three letters is the common abbreviation. So, methionone, you may say met. Uh, okay. None of those have the same first three letters, so we use the first three letters to write the whole word out. So, like, instead, instead see, leucine, just say L-E-U, and I know you need leucine. That's how we do it. We don't write the whole word out. You want us to write that? You just copy down six codes, right? Right. I want the six acids. I want the acids of those codes code for. <laughs> oh. Instead of writing the whole word, just give me the first three letters. Because that's how we really do it. Thank God none of them have the same first three letters. They're all separate like that. And the more you do it, you assume quickly learn what GLY stood for. First one. You become familiar with it. First one. You know how it has six leucines and then there's three isoleucines? Mm -hmm. What is, what would isoleucine be? Uh -huh. Probably a uranium. Something related, yeah. Related, actually. I don't know why these have acid tacked on back up. I mean, they're all acids. Hmm. I don't know why they call something acid and then they call something acid. Because that's what And you might find some charts with another name like maybe aspartame and not aspartic acid. Oh. Huh. I, I didn't compare four or five charts. I just assume they're all kind of the same. But I saw some weird charts. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. I'm going to draw me a line across here like in bright red. Across here in bright red. And then I'll, I'll set some four. It'll work fine that way. You'll be able to see the squares. Are y'all done? Mm -hmm. Let me show you the answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything different? I used to have a word, of course. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I put a capital N because these are not proper nouns. They're just words. And I could have used only met. 
That's not me. That that's biology saying first three letters is sufficient. That's not it. That's not even a, that's not an acid. There. There's nothing there at all. So when you see nothing, it stops. And there's, there's no acid there. It's just empty place. Okay. And that is over. I'm gonna save this thing. So I still got some more work to do. You saw. I want to do those lines on there, but that's gonna take a little while. Getting just right. Like I like to have. I want to start lesson eight and see what it looks like and I'll put it online tonight.